I think people overwhelmingly do not understand the impact and the contribution that RAs make. These students that we hire for the job, we hire the most competent. We hire the ones with common sense because that's something that's really almost impossible to teach. You either have it or you don't. And who have had some experience with life, you know, they know how to handle things more than they may even realize they can handle. I love the job because it's really on the ground, grassroots activism. That's how I see it. You're introducing people who have absolutely no concept of a lot of different identities or of their own identities to them for the first time. And that's an amazing thing to do for somebody. It's just wonderful to be able to sort of reach into the lives of folks and sort of like figure out what's going on in them and help them sort of like accomplish what they want to accomplish. So there's something very rewarding about that kind of work. Primary to secondary. It appears we have a resident trapped on um, the third floor north elevator. Uh, can you call me and that? Yeah, I'll get on that. Bringing together community, it's hard. It's so funny how physical boundaries get in the way. My name is Stephanie, and I am an RA in Eigenman. Simple obstructions can obstruct the unity of a community. Putting myself out there brings the community closer, I think, because it's one more touchdown. It also shows my residents that it's a kind of a safe space. God, it sounds so dumb to say. You know, for however many times I sat through and heard someone say like, oh, this is a safe space. I like our staff and I like everybody on staff. We're all like this really weird kind of family. My name is Omar White and I'm an RA in Eigenman. And everything that comes with being family, all the love and the hate are kind of like intertwined in being a part of the staff. It's almost everything that you do every day from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to sleep and you're still an RA when you're asleep. My name is Ethan Jackson and currently I'm an assistant hall director for the University of Colorado Boulder and uh, I used to be an RA in Eigenman for three years. It became my most salient identity. I wasn't, you know, just a trans man. I wasn't just a man. I wasn't just white. I was an RA. Like, and that was something that was an all-consuming identity that was probably the most, like, salient in my life. We try to prepare RAs for almost everything. But at the same time, until they're actually on the job, they can't really comprehend what it's going to involve. My name is Rebecca Hoke McCall, and I'm the residence manager at Eigenman Residence Center. And I have a lot of um, RAs who come to me later and say, I had no clue, and I was well into the semester before I realized I wasn't terrorized by this job. I was on the 14th floor of Eigenman, and uh, I saw a woman that I didn't recognize, and she was trying to open a closet door, like a janitorial door. Um, and so I asked her if she was lost, and she said, oh, I'm looking for a window. I was like, why are you looking for a window? She just shrugged and wouldn't talk to me or look at me. Got in the elevator, I followed her into the elevator and I kind of lost her, I wasn't sure. I was trying to call someone and I didn't have service in the elevator. Um, I ended up going back up to the floor, talking to one of my residents and told him what happened and he said, she's trying to kill herself. And I said, yeah, that's what I thought. Um, and I asked him seriously because I had a good relationship with him. I said, do any of the rooftop doors actually open? And he said, yeah, one of them actually does. I walked down that hallway and the door was wide open and I thought she killed herself. I started panicking and that, that's when I got a call from asking me if I'd called the police. And I said, no, and she said, the police are here. Why are they here? And I said, oh my God. 10 minutes later, after the police were like scouring the building looking for her on the 14th floor, they found her on the other wing of the 14th floor trying to pick the lock with a bobby pin, sobbing. If she had walked down that hallway, if I hadn't like walked into that moment, just that perfect timing and known that she wasn't a member of my community and asked her, I wouldn't have scared her away. Someone would have walked into that door, she would have gotten in, she would have seen an open door to the roof and she would have jumped. It's, it's terrifying what you regularly experience as an RA. Um, and the, just how, it's scary to know just how much of a support network you are for your folks. Um, because if you're not on your game, people can actually die. There's a lot of responsibility that's put on you as an RA. And that's not necessarily, I don't think, the um, same amount of responsibility that's typically put on someone our age. You almost have to be sometimes two different people when you work. You have to be your professional work self and yourself. You have to be good at managing your time just in the sense of getting things done, but you also have to, have to be good at managing yourself in the sense of not letting yourself get caught up in the job too much when your job and your life are so close together. 
to be an RA means that you are giving your time to others. What I wasn't expecting was in this job, in the bulletin board, the bi-weekly meetings, the desk hours, the duty nights, the weekend duty nights. There are a lot of hours that wouldn't necessarily be clocked in. There are hours that you put in because you know that it's necessary, not absolutely required, but God is it suggested. You have to change and adapt a lot in this job, but you have to be able to do it while always relying on a structure. And you can't poke and prod the structure either because that completely dismantles it. Use it, rely on it, all for the greater goal of helping a residence. If I'm knocking on their door because they're throwing a party, chances are outside of a residence hall it would be the cops. And there would be real world consequences. It wouldn't just be, here's your conduct meeting, here's 30 minutes of basically a therapy session, which is what conduct meetings actually are, which I didn't know as an RA that that's what they were. What I told my residents is, if you're dumb enough to get caught, you're dumb enough to get caught. If you're smart enough not to get caught, you've fairly well demonstrated to me that you can handle your own life responsibly and maturely enough. However, that is based on one assumption, that I trust my residents enough and that they trust me enough to come to me if anything were seriously wrong. And you can see that that's where the system starts to rely on itself. This job has been an experience, like a really crazy experience. And I know that I can come off probably pretty negative at times about aspects of this job, just because I've been doing it for a while and I'm burnt out as hell. But there are a lot of great things about this job. Probably the greatest thing about this job is the people you meet, despite what you might think. There is actually a lot of positive here if you take the time to appreciate it. This job has given me the time to focus on other people's emotional health. For someone who's not necessarily that emotionally connected, that's a really big opportunity. I do feel more fulfilled and I do feel better in that regard because I have my staff around me, so that's one level of making people feel better, of support. And then on the second level, you also have your residence, which should be your primary purpose. So I do feel like a better person guiding them through their freshman year. I return each year as residence manager and every year it's to return because I love students. But more importantly to me, um, I love working with RAs because they are absolutely the cream of the crop and they are such hard workers and they make such an impact on residents that I thoroughly enjoy being able to be part of their lives and I don't know how they do it, but they're wonderful, wonderful students and I feel privileged every day to be able to work with them. I honestly have no idea what I would have done without this position because I completely did 180. You're tending a garden of amazing individuals and I'd like people to know that you can be totally disorganized and totally spastic and be a complete weird and amazing human being and still be an RA. You don't have to be any type of human to be an RA. Every, every type of person can make a killer RA.